Welcome back to All Indiana. And we're so glad you're here. Well, a new exhibit at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis is highlighting athletes who have beaten the odds and broken boundaries. Randall Newsom is live there this afternoon to give us a live look inside baseball boundary breakers. Randall, I'm sure that you've been exploring this exhibit. What's been your favorite so far? Yeah, okay, so this one stuck out to me right off the bat, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, this baseball bat was signed by 120 Negro League players. That's what you see as soon as you walk in, and I'm telling you, that caught my eye. Now, Erica, you are the lovely lady behind this. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming down to the Children's Museum today. Awesome. For you, you put this together. You're the project manager um, to see families come to this thing. It, it was just an idea on a piece of paper, and now you got families walking through. What does that mean to you? It's amazing. So we have a great pe uh, group of talented people ha here at the Children's Museum. And a year ago when we started envisioning this, uh, you know, we had no idea exactly where we would end up. And it's great to see families here at the museum engaging in all of the ideas that were once just um, something on paper. Awesome. Okay, so Erica, we're going we're gonna to walk through and give these people a little bit of a tour. Um, obviously, you know, you have the Negro Leagues, uh, you have uh, Asian players who broke barriers along the way. Uh, when you see people walk through, what do you feel like they stop at the most? What do you think? One of the display cases I think that's been the most popular is the one here in front of us. So in this exhibit, we explore the um, important empowering stories of legendary players who have faced adversity, challenges, and stereotypes yeah. to play a game that they love. And some of those stories get to make it to the big screen. Yep. So in front of us, we see a Dodgers costume from the popular movie 42. Yep, Jackie and Robinson, of Rock, course, okay. A Rockford Peaches costume from the movie A League of Their Own. Oh yeah, the classic, there's no crying? There's no crying <laughs> in baseball? Okay, and then oh, there's also some uh, interactive things happening over here. We got some of the kiddos and families working it out over here on the pitcher's mound. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot of family learning happening in this exhibit. And here you see a family um, who is pitching to a virtual batter. They're pitching for both speed and accuracy. And as you can see, this exhibit is for uh, visitors of all ages from young to adults. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now the cool part about this is uh, there's a little bit of history behind it. We got uh, award-winning pitcher Jim Abbott. Um, kind of letting people know that it's not just about people of color, uh, it's also about people who overcame disabilities, right? Correct. So Jim Abbott is one of my favorite stories that we're elevating in this exhibit. As you mentioned, he's an award-winning pitcher mm -hmm. who didn't play a single minor league game. He went straight to the major leagues. Yeah. Um, in his career, he threw a no-hitter. And for any player, that is an amazing feat. And he did this all without a right hand. Wow, that's amazing. Um, to be able to highlight stories like his and, and educate some of these families on people that they might not even know about, uh, what does it do to you to kind of see them getting educated about some of these legendary people? It's amazing. It's also a great family learning opportunity. So I've seen some of the adults come in and, and they know Jim Abbott. They right. watched him play games. They saw him pitch that no hitter. And to have them have those moments and talk to their children about it um, is really amazing. Okay. Now, Erica, you know, I like to get active. I like to, I like to get interactive with some, with some yeah. things going on. Okay. This one right here, I, I see this drill, it requires a little quickness a little bit, right? It is. So you are testing your reaction time at this interactive called Field the Ball. Okay. Um, you are an infielder, and the goal is for the visitor to press the buttons as they light up as if they're catching a ball as it's being hit to them. Wow, wow. Okay, so that's, that's something I feel like I definitely got to get into. Um, would you do me the honors after after this young gentleman goes? Would you would you test sure. my test my quickness Let's with me? See how quick you are. Oh yeah, we're, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna test that out, ladies. Uh, clearly, I gotta wait my turn. But you know, yeah, it looks like it. That, I, I think I, I I could take him. You think I could take him? I, I, I have take faith him. in you, I Randall. Take him. What do you think? I think you would yeah, do a good him, job. Him and his sister. I'm not scared. I'm, they look quick. Oh, yeah, I'm not scared. And right. Quick, but I think you know what? But I might need a stretch. Look, that's it's a new month. That means new opportunities. You got this. <laughs> we're trying to build up your confidence. Get up and do that. <laughs> well, listen, we're excited to see you do it. Just smoking. don't hurt yourself. <laughs> there we go. And hey, I heard that there's also another really cool person over there with you celebrating something today, Randall. 
Oh, that's right. Hold on. Put that camera back up, yes. sir. Yes. So the man on the other side of this camera is Kevin Stinson. Yes. He's celebrating 40 years and a day. Don't, don't, don't cheat him on his days, right? He don't want <laughs> to be cheated on his days. 40 years and a day here at Wish TV. And man, uh, I'm going to talk to you like you're not right here behind <laughs> this camera. But uh, from the moment I've gotten here and anytime I needed help with anything, anytime uh, I needed some assistance, and we've done some crazy projects over these last couple years, he's been right there. Uh, telling me, Randall, that's too long, shorten that up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and really just being somebody I could lean on uh, during, during some very trying times, uh, adversities, anytime we had a deadline, he always knew how to fix it. Like no matter what, we, always, we were always looking for the solution. He always knew what that was. And uh, we've been in some of those trenches together and I couldn't be more proud to have somebody uh, standing by me as we're, we're getting through this thing called TV land and, and life. So, yes. Um, yes. man, Yay. love you, dude. And uh, I'm going to act like, like I said, he's not there. He's not there right now. <laughs> we're, just, we're just talking about him. Kudos just, to Kevin. Oh, we love there, Stinson. But, but he is I know the man. People, yeah. I know a lot of people feel the same way I do. Just he's been uh, such a rock for us, especially us young bucks coming up. And, uh, man, here's to uh, however many years you got left. I know he, he talks about <laughs> you know, Kevin, he talks about retiring like every day. Yay. So. <laughs> but at least we know he put in the time. Randall, thank That's you so right. much to Simpson. Congratulations. Yes, 40 years and a day. There we go. See, the people behind the scenes, they're the ones that make it happen. The hardest workers ever. And Kevin Absolutely. is truly one of them. Yep. He's a gem. Hey, thank yep, yep. you and kudos to Kevin. All right.